Hi everyone, this is Jacqueline T.D. Huynh. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, I started this Facebook Live about 16 days ago. This is my 17th day. And I'm actually really enjoying it. I've gotten some great feedback and I'm glad that you guys have been able to get some good nuggets out of it. <clears throat> so I'm the owner of Integrative Minds where we help people become the leader that their family want to follow, uh, that other people want to follow. So I love bringing more harmony to families, helping them lower their stress and anxiety and really increasing the engagement of each and every family member. Uh, I don't, you know, the statistic nowadays shows that our teens have the same stress and anxiety level of a 1950s psychiatric patient. Now that's a lot of pressure and stress that they're going to. And uh, I know as a parent, I don't want my children to have to even think or even feel what that feels like. And if I'm adding to that in any way, I want to know how to change it. Uh, I want to know the tools. I want to know the techniques. And I want to know every single way how I can help them not be that way. And I'm sure you as parents feel the same way. And so uh, what I learned from Dr. Uh, Gottman, John Gottman, he is an expert in world-renowned relationship expert. And he, through many years of research, he's discovered four behaviors that we all should actually avoid if we want to have a strong and healthy relationship, right? So if, if you want to influence your children, if you want to be able to guide them throughout their childhood, what's the secret? What's the secret to doing these two things is having a healthy, connected relationship with our children. And if we can avoid these four behaviors that Dr. Gottman talks about, it really uh, would create that strong, healthy relationship. So yesterday, I talked about the first behavior, <clears throat> and you can go back and listen to that one, part one of the four-part series of four parent behaviors to avoid. So today, the second part is of what he calls contempt, right? So how he defines contempt is criticizing coming from a place of superiority. So how it comes out is name calling, sneering, sarcasm, hostile humor, mockery, even eye rolling. And um, here's what's interesting about contempt. It not only predicts how relationships would go, but it actually predicts how many infectious illnesses the, the, your children, whoever's listening, would have in the coming year. So how I conclude that is that when you talk down to someone, when you talk down to your children, it tears down more than just their self-esteem. This is creating physical <clears throat> illness in them. So what are some examples of contempt. That's like saying things like stupid brat or are you ignorant? Why would you do that? Look at that little baby crying again. Wow, 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 wow. Right. So these are some of things that show that we're more superior. So how do you fix that? Well, it's really simple and <clears throat> is just respect. You know, treat your child with the same respect you want them to treat you, right? Would you want your children to be calling you a brat? Would you want your children to be calling you ignorant? No, we, that would really upset you and for some people probably piss you off. And so we don't, when other people call us that, those names, right? It shows that they don't respect us. So when we do to the same as children, same thing. So the antidote is just to treat your children with the same respect you want them to treat you. It's just that easy and that simple, but uh, it sounds easier, right? But I think that when you stay consciously aware um, of when you are stressed, when you have anxiety, 
you take that time out before you open your mouth and you uh, react, it's going to be much easier. And the more you do it, the more your body and your muscle and your mind is going to remember, oh, I'm stressed, I'm upset, let me take a break. Um, breathe before I open my mouth. Because as soon as you say those words, no matter how many sorries, it's it still is painful. So uh, that is the behavior number two today, and we'll go to behavior number three tomorrow. I want to thank you for showing up today. If you are seeing this video after it is live, please uh, comment, ask me any question. You can also email me at info at integrative minds with an S dot com. The email is also in the notes section and please share this video. Uh, I just love to get more people to, uh, to hear the information. And remember that change can happen in an instant, but you have to take that chance to and make that choice. And the great thing about choice is that when you master it, you ask, actually master your destiny. A coach of mine told me that and I thought it was just profound. So tune in tomorrow. Um, and also today is Wednesday. So uh, our new sh uh, Parent Pump Radio episode aired today. Uh, you can go to parentpumpradio.com uh, to listen to today's show and any past show. Thank you so much for listening, and I look forward to talking to you tomorrow. <music>